Came up from nothing, I broke out the porch Ain't had no light, so I used me a torch Went from a cat, now I hop in the Porsche Give them the pressure, they feel in the force Me and my niggas, we stay in ten toes Best in the game like some motherfucking pros Selling the dope, now I'm selling our shows Flex so much, cause I wore the same clothes Broke out the leash and my mama was mad Kicked out of school, cause a nigga was bad Caught me a check, said so when nigga was glad Run at them bands, bitch, I got me a bag Coming in first, I ain't coming in last Run at that money, I get to it fast Get in my way, this rocket gon' blast Talk on my name, get left in the Past. Just a little who had all the cash Running your trap and I'm taking your stash Skirting your block and I'm doing the dash Shooting shit up then I leave in the flash Talk on my name but y'all know where I'm at Don't wanna meet cause you just wanna chat Up on the block and I stay in the track Say you gon' kill me you ain't got a cap Since I was nine bitch I been in the mix Running the block and I ain't give a shit Flex on the snap now your ass is a lick Stay with my niggas you know who I'm with Focus on money don't care about a bitch Stay on the grind just so I could be rich Say you my dog but your ass is gon' switch Come up for nothing I'm destined for this Stack up my paper, I run up these digits I'm catching the pack and I flip it in minutes I'm smoking the gas, I smoke on the midget Selling the packs, we don't got a limit Watching my moves, they watching my pivot Only 15 and I already did it Stay on the grind, just give me a minute See me a bag and I'ma go get it Came up for nothing, I broke out the porch Ain't had no legs so I... Well, here we are yet again, boys. It's time to dance this dance one more time. You would think after the countless amount of videos I made revolving around GTA Online and its cancerous players, I would be running out of things to complain about. But nope, I personally feel like I can do this in my sleep if I really wanted to. And considering the fact that I haven't uploaded a GTA 5 video in a while makes this 2,000 subscriber video a lot more special. So right out of the way, let's get into the video. For the life of me, I would never understand how any sane human being on this green and blue earth can possibly take this game seriously and enjoy it. GTA Online is a perfect example of a god tier video game company being corrupted by their greed and wanting to make money over the actual quality of the game and the GTA Online's player base is the perfect example of when Karen's let their 12 year old underage kids play rated M video games and think stuff like oppressor mark 2's flying cars and flying bikes is what GTA is all about when you think of GTA Online players the first thing that instantly comes to mind is those wannabe tryhards also known as the griefers who want to resort to ruining GTA Online lobbies because they suck at any other game they play and this is the only game that they're good at and you also think about those players that skip school to play GTA and they don't even wash their ass or wash, brush their teeth in the morning, stays up all hours of the night playing GTA, you know, you know who I'm talking about. Timmy. But GTA Online's community of players is so pathetic, so corny, and so lame that it is unbearable to be around these players. It is beyond a joke how toxic and horrible this community really is. And what amazes me the most is, is that it wasn't always like this. Over the past five years, this problem has somehow, some way, gotten worse over time, and the GTA Online community is as infamous as it's ever been. And let me just clarify by saying, yes, I understand in a sandbox game like GTA Online, there is going to be communities that focus around certain things and have a sense of brotherhood and companionship, and I am all for that. But my god, the players that play GTA can't even get that part right compared to other communities. 80% of this community is a toxic mess right now, and there is only 20% of it that is so chill and nice. And majority of the reason why this player base is so toxic is because of these underage kids out there who play this game all day every day with literally nothing to show for it and buys all the DLC content with mommy and daddy's credit card because they don't understand how money works yet. It is beyond me how the furry community or even the Fortnite community gets more flack than the GTA Online community when the GTA Online community is 10 times worse. This game isn't all that. Sorry, not sorry, but GTA 5 in 2020 is not all that. And yeah, sure, me and everybody was on the hype train back in 2013 when Rockstar revealed GTA 5 and they made a billion dollars the very first night of its release. So it's no doubt that GTA 5 is one of Rockstar's best pieces of work they ever made. But dude, the game is not that serious to be putting all that effort and time into, and the damn show isn't better than Saints Row 2. So what is the reason for being this toxic and making the community look bad other than to follow trends like sheep and flex on social media to your small group of followers? Because I remember everybody and their mama was making memes about the Oppressor Mark 2 and the tryhards, but this bandwagon mob mentality to go stupid over 7 year old games has gone way out of hand. In my soon to be 6 years of being in the GTA Online community, this is by far are one of the worst communities I have ever been a part of and that says a lot because I used to be a part of the NBA 2K community and my day one fans know how toxic that community has gotten. Get on the fucking ground, get on the ground, get on the ground, on the ground, put your hands behind your fucking back. 
And as I was playing this game for the past week, and for some reason always been greeted to the sound of underage kids who aren't even old enough to play this game on the game chat, it dawned upon me that there is really only three kinds of players that still really plays this game in its current state, and that's the griefers, tryhards, and grinders. It's either the players who are pathetic losers hopping from session to session blowing up people's cargo for no reason and hiding behind the excuse of the game telling them to do it, the players who dress up like bootleg emo military soldiers that care more about their KD than their own family, or the people who play this game like it's almost a secondhand job. This new breed of GTA Online players have absolutely ruined the good name of Grand Theft Auto. Nowadays when you hear someone bring up Grand Theft Auto, you think of the game that copied other games like Saints Row. Playing this game now is either about who can get the most amount of views on their garbage can of a YouTube channel for blowing up people's cargo, who has the bigger KD, or who has the biggest bank account. Now I know what a lot of you people watching this video are about to say, but Guapi Trey, why do you have a problem with how other people play this game? They can play this game however they want to play it. And yes, I agree with that statement, but that's not the problem that I have. I don't care how anyone plays this game. Trust me, I don't. My problem that I have with these people is how toxic they can get if you dare slander the group that they represent or call them out for what they're doing and how exactly they play this game. If you want to be a Carlo griefing loser in a 7 year old mediocre game, that is your choice to live with, not mine. But when you post 1 to 2 minute lazy unedited clips that you got off your PlayStation or your Xbox of you destroying other people's cargo for the purpose of getting attention, clout, and views, that's when I got a problem. Same goes for the people who try to clout chase off of other YouTubers by making these quote unquote exposed videos in the PvP community or in the community in general. This is exactly how the NBA 2K community became a joke and the GTA Online community is down that same exact path. And don't even get me started on these losers that try to defend griefing in this damn game. The way these people try to defend this is not even laughable, it's just straight up sad and pathetic. This next segment shows exactly what I'm talking about. A little while ago, I received a video from a degenerate YouTuber who tried to defend cargo griefing. Hey, why are you so mad at us? We're just trying to play the game the, the way Rockstar is telling us to, and destroying cargo is fun because it wastes people's hard work, money, and time. And without us, there'd be no free DLCs for you. So, cargo griefing is good. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Meanwhile, I'm trying to figure out why your clout chasing, attention whoring ass is sending messages to my PS4. And nigga, you seriously got the professional's name in your channel banner? And don't think I forgot about the 7 or 8 alternate Instagram accounts that you made just to send hate towards me because I killed you that one time when you and your boys tried to get grief me and I called for backup. The ego these little kids show is just sad. And the fact that they think people are scared of them is the most laughable clown statement I've ever heard in a while. Imagine telling a grown man that he should be scared of you because you play Grand Theft Auto. Bro, you are not as important as you make yourself out to be. And the fact that his little buddies say that they're trying to get me to quit GTA makes it even more funny. First of all, if I was to quit GTA, it would not be because of you. That's number one. And number two, if I was to quit, it's because I want to play another game that is actually fun and enjoyable and is actually worth my time. And I'm not gonna lie, I forgot these two people existed and breathed the same air as me. It just goes to show you that I'm living rent free inside their minds when I haven't even heard of them or even thought about them in months. And it also goes to show you that your biggest haters watch your every move. But they need to understand that whether or not if they come to my video to spread hate or not my paycheck is still coming in the mail tell them to bring me my money yeah! the minimum wage for being a youtuber with 2,000 subscribers is not rising because your bum ass came in here it's obvious to me that you need to clout chase and grief in order to get views on your YouTube channel and of course you wanted to use my name and quite frankly I don't care because if you ain't got my subscriber count and if you ain't getting money like I am from YouTube you're not worth my time. You a little boy to me. I'll kiss you on your forehead. You a little boy. Sit down. King's home. It's over. It's over. These little white kids are going harder than MJ in the finals over this game and for what? So me and the community can still look at you as a bitch and a pathetic loser in the real? Could not be me, bruh.
<laughs> Wouldn't let that shit happen to me though. Now add insult to injury that ever since 2015, when the heist update came out, Rockstar has added more and more griefer tools and vehicles to make free mode more frustrating to play as each update comes. All at the expense of selling more shark cards over the quality of the game. I don't need to say too much about it because I already made three videos each on the both a person mark 2 and the orbital cannon and a lot of people seen those videos and they agreed with me when I say that this is the most terrible game design practice they've ever seen and it's and it was only implemented in order for them to make money and the only people that don't agree with these videos are either the griefers or the tryhards which also leads to my next point whenever rockstar adds a griefer toy for these 12 year olds and man children to enjoy they get up and start doing the 6 9 stupid dance but whenever they make any type of change to pvp like adding a cooldown on the oppressor mark 2 patching easy way out or add anything to the game to improve the game that won't benefit them guess what they cry about it are you gonna cry Where? Are you gonna cry like a baby? The community standards have gotten so low that they don't even hold Rockstar accountable for anything. The amount of times I've brought up valid points about Rockstar games and how they do things only to have some douchebag in my comment section talking about stop complaining just absolutely perplexes me. Whatever happened to having high standards? Whatever happened to having bare minimums? Whatever happened to having high expectations? Rockstar Games is not your friend. They are a company. They are a business. They make $60 AAA published games and shove microtransactions in it so they can make additional money over time as they release their next AAA game. They don't give a rat's ass about you, only your money. Because last time I checked, you are the consumer, not a shareholder or a developer. You are the one with the money, so act like it. And the killing part about it is that this crowd of people that says stop complaining is basically saying that they are perfectly fine with GTA being a broken, unbalanced, buggy, glitchy game. And is that what y'all really want? Is it really? Because if your standards are so low that you accept a broken game like GTA Online, then you have zero business playing video games at all. For all I know, these people are the same exact people who will agree with EA Games when they said that loot boxes are surprise mechanics. So who want to step up and claim that they agree with them? And of course, I'm gonna expect some Rockstar Games apologists and some Rockstar Games fanboys to come in my comment section and try to make excuses for them. And you know what? I don't care. Because 90% of the casual players like myself and about 80% of the community is in agreement that GTA Online is a former shell of itself and will never be the same ever again. Hell, most of us already left to play some other game that is worth our time and energy. I know I have, especially after I was there to witness the amazing Travis Sky astronomical event on Fortnite and I purchased the bundle of Travis Scott and Cactus Jack skins and after that show it got me into Battle Royale again and I already have gotten my first three wins on my record on my first day back to Battle Royale in the past two or three days. I wish I could say more about this but that's, it, but that's its own separate video for another day. Now what was I talking about? Oh yeah, these Rockstar apologists. So if you little kids and mid 20 year olds want to make your little videos bowing down to Rockstar and simping for Rockstar about how they need shark card sales and how cargo griefing helps the community in hopes that Rockstar will see your video and fly you out to see their games, so be it. Because this game is dead boring now and on top of that, G it is confirmed that GTA 6 is halfway in development and from the rumors I've heard so far that it's about to be online focused just like GTA 5 has gotten. And still, that is another video for another day. God, I have so much work to do. So to the toxic members of the GTA Online community, a lot of you guys need an intervention. But more importantly, a lot of y'all need Jesus. Because if your soul is easily influenced to do this much ignorant stuff in a video game, then there is no telling what good you can actually contribute to society, as well as be consumed to do damage and chaos in the real world. Because you guys have no... And you know what, better yet? Keep it like this, because these people are too illiterate to understand what I'm going to try to tell them, and it's simply going to say, LOL, you're mad, or something along those lines. You do what you try to do to help people in this world, but then again, you just ask yourself, why do you even bother? I don't know, it's all God's plan, I guess. But in the meantime, I'm going to be playing other games that is worth my time. And you know what else? Since Saints Row the Third Remaster comes out on the 22nd of this month, I may as well put down my pre-order for it, because I want to show my support for Saints Row 5, which is about to 
be revealed soon, and hopefully it will be a chance for Volition and THQ to actually give Rockstar some competition. Because at this point, it seems like Volition are the only people around here who actually knows what the hell they're doing, and actually know what their players want. And Rockstar, when you shape your crap up and make a new Midnight Club game, let me know. But until then, y'all can consider me more of a Saints Row fan than a GTA fan. And Rockstar wants to sit back and wonder why they aren't respected anymore. And they wonder why GTA Roleplay is more popular than GTA Online at the moment. I'm on the edge of my seat right now, waiting to see how Rockstar will mess up the next GTA Online update when it comes out, and I'll be right there to criticize them for it. Because Lord knows, if they can mess up Red Dead Redemption 2, they will definitely mess up GTA 6. But I guess only time will tell, because as it stands, GTA is not GTA anymore. But in the meantime, I actually want to take this time to talk to you guys about something more important than a 7 year old video game. Now, as you all know, on April 22nd, 2020, I recently re reached the goal of 2,000 subscribers, and at the time of this recording, I have well over 2,140 subscribers. I want to take the time out of my day to thank every single one of you guys who stopped by my channel and watched my videos and even subscribed to watch more of my content. It means the world to me that a lot of you guys like the way that I make my videos and want to support me. Me because of it as well as me getting the opportunity to get paid while doing it and I am extremely grateful for it I know I am still in the early stages of making these scripted videos but I am sure that they will get better as time progress I have some more great quality content for you guys that's on the way and is in the works right now and especially now since I've actually finished up my very first semester of college and I can finally relax now but with that being said this your boy guap make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new and I'm out bruh Broke out the leash and my mama was mad Kicked out of school cause a nigga was bad Caught me a check, said when nigga was glad Run at them bands, bitch, I got me a bag Coming in first, I ain't coming in last Run at that money, I get to it fast Get in my way, this rocket gon' blast Talk on my name, get left in the past Just a little jit who had all the cash